Amen. God bless you. And again, God bless you. Hey, look, thank you for tuning in to Walking in Victory TV Ministries. Hey, look, I'm your host, Minister Rodney Hinton. And folks, you've seen this great friend. I consider you a friend. Yes, sir. Amen. Man of wisdom, man of integrity. Amen. Brother Brian. Bartholomew, you know how we do this thing. We've got to go to we've got to go to where your church affiliation is, and yes, and, and, and tell us again about this this great church that you're a part of. Rise Church. Your Rise Church. We have three campuses: Rocky Mount, Nashville, Wilson. Right. Pastor Gerganus, Richard right. Gerganus, he's yes. the head pastor. Right. Jason Cockrell, associate uh, pastor. he's associate pastor right. there, and uh, we've been there a little over three years. We right. serve on prayer ministry, right. and uh, we just love it there. And yes. they're all about the community. Yes. They're, they're really about they the are, community, about are. Rocky Mount, yes. and uh, we're just grateful to be there and to be a part of, of their work, yes. Yes. and um, we just love partnering with other works, yes. such yes. as yours, and yes. um, we just want to be part of the community. That's excellent, yes, excellent. Sir. I know those guys myself, person, those are great guys, you know, and Brian, we've got, I'm really excited about this program. I said it before we started, um, right. so we're just going to go ahead and give you our title. Our title for the day is um, When God warns us amen i'm just going to say this again our title for the day is when god warns us and, and those at home you just go ahead and turn to mark the eighth chapter and we're going to start at verse 22 through 26 you know but before we do that you know we always try to be obedient so so uh, mr bartholomew we're just going to ask you if you'll bless us with a prayer if you will yes sir yes sir heavenly father thank you for this time today as we thank come you, together father, to honor you in the name of jesus. lord to study your word study father your thank word. you for your holy spirit revealing yes to the listeners to the audience yes. lord as well as us uh to to give your word yes. to 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 speak your word speak with your authority the and the, the anointing that you've called us lord into yes. and father we just thank you thank that you. the spirit the, the people will be receptive to it. Yes. Their spirits will yes. soak it up like a sponge. Yes. Father, if those that are participating Hallelujah. in certain things yes. need, to, need to abstain from that and yes. walk away, we pray that that will oh uh, minister to their hearts. Yes. And Father, we just thank you right now yes. for health. We thank you for all the things that your word, all your promises yes. being established in this earth. Yes. Lord, upon all of the audience. Yes. Father, we just thank you, Lord. We stand in agreement with each and every viewer. You, uh, Lord, we give you the praise and honor for this this time yeah, thank you for blessing this yeah, ministry uh lord and we just uh just give you this time this and time. honor your name in jesus name jesus amen. amen 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 outstanding what a wonderful prayer hey look we're just going to go ahead because i'm excited about this we're just going to give you our title again our title is going to be when god warns us and you know you might say my my friends you know why would god warn us you know what 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 is warning what is this warning about my brothers and sisters when god sees us continuing to go down the a path this path Whew. amen Glory. when he sees us going continuing hmm. to go down a path and he knows that if we continue in this direction it's going to cost us dearly so what does god do he he warns us and some of these warnings, Brother Brian, God wants us to correct immediately. Yes, sir. Amen. Some of these warnings. You know, I'm going to say this before we go into our scriptures. And, 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 and Brother Brian, you've got children, and you can testify to this. If we see our children, once yes, they get of age and they can obtain a job, and, and, yes, and, and, and if we see our children not as responsible as they should, yes, right? Sir. They're not as responsible. If we see them, uh, they're they're maybe they're lazy not working not obtaining a job as they should not responsible not really obtaining that job or, or, or as they should mm -hmm. we're going to warn them we're going to warn them for the future we're going to say yes, look, we're going to say look if you keep going in this direction you're not going to have your proper savings for them we want them to we want yes. them to begin to save money so when we see them not as responsible right and then we see them yes, yeah right they're not as responsible and we see them not really obtain a, or, or, or maybe maybe they've been missing too many days on the job and we see we see we're going to begin to warn them because we want them to prepare mm -hmm. for their future it's not to hurt them and we warn our churches never to hurt them yes sir right it's to help them because we see the direction that they're going in the path that they're going and as they continue down that path we know that mm -hmm. It's not going to go so good for their future, right? And I'm going to say this one yes, more sir. thing, and then we're going to go into these scriptures. So we're going to go into the scriptures. We both have, I've got a daughter, you've got son and daughter. Son and daughter. Mm -hmm. Now, if 
I see my daughter, and somebody's watching this, I know right now you're gonna come, you're gonna come into agreement with this. If your daughter meets someone, uh, your son meets someone, and we, are, we, we, we speak often out of wisdom, you know? Yes, sir. And we see that that person is reckless, right? We see that that person that they're dating isn't responsible. Yes. We see that, that sometimes we see we see couples where the the woman is is taking care of the man, mm -hmm. right? Then mm -hmm. what we do is we mildly warn our children. Children say hey, it's not that we we don't we don't we don't hate the individual, mm -hmm. but we warn them because we love them. We says, hey, look, you got a bright future, and and this person that you've got involved with. They yes, just sir. don't seem to have the drive, amen, to, 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 and, and they're not responsible. They're somewhat reckless, and they, they may hinder your future. It's not, yeah. and we warn yeah. them because what? We love them. Amen. That's right. Sometimes the children think, well, you just don't want me to have anybody, and they'll find out later on in life That's it. that we spoke out of love. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right, brother? <laughs> right. Yes, sir. That's right. Trying to protect their future. Oh, come on. So that they end up mm. where God intended them That's to be. Right. And not in some other that's right area that's right due to uh, wrong decisions wrong, decisions, wrong choices that's not right. listening to that's the right. warnings that's right it could cost you in your future look brother and sister I hope you turn let's go to this and we're gonna see how God begins to heal this man that was blind but then also what Jesus does is he warns him amen after he heals him let's go and see what the Bible says by now hopefully you turn to um, Mark the 8th chapter in the 22nd verse. Listen as it reads. The Bible says now, And when he had come to Bethsaida, He says, And they bring, He says, A blind man unto him, And besought him to touch him. And listen at verse 23. It says, And he took, he took the blind man, Listen at this, By the hand, And led him out of the town. Listen, And when he had, and when he had spit on his eyes, He has put his hands upon him, And asked him, If he saw all. Do you see anything is what he's saying. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I'm going to just note this really quick, uh, Brother Brian. Something that just kind of reached out to me when I was reading this. Jesus takes this man, the Bible says, and he took the blind man by the hand and blind led him man. out of the town. Mm -hmm. So what he did, Brian, was he led him out of the environment that he yeah. was accustomed to. And my yes. brothers and sisters, I just want to say this to somebody yes. that's watching right yes. now. Sometimes God has to take you beyond the familiar, beyond the things that you, amen, are accustomed to in order amen. to get your attention. Sometimes, you know, uh, the spectator, sometimes what you're used to, sometimes God says, I can't, Jesus said, I, I, he led him out of the town. And I'm going to say this really quick. We've got just a few more minutes before we hear from you. Both of us have had the opportunity to help people. And sometimes we, the environment that we see them in, when they ask for some type of assistance, sometimes we can't help them in that environment. Mm -hmm. I've talked to many people. I said, here goes my number. I said, call me so we can sit down and talk. Because you can't help them in that environment that they. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's too loud. Too loud. That that's right. That's too right. Noisy. That's right. That's right. Sometimes it's too much familiarity. Too much. That's, that's right. It's too much connection that's there. Right. That's right. Where they can't hear clearly. That's right. So you to have to bring them, them, out, them out, of out of that. That's right. To hear clearly. Okay, let's mm. go a little bit further. We're on the same page. Here. Let's go to verse 24. Verse 24 says, he said, and he looked up, listen at this, and the Bible says, and said, he says, look, Jesus already asked, asked him in, in verse 23, asked him, could he see all of them? Verse 24 said, he looked up and said, said, I see men as trees walking. So what this man mm -hmm. is saying is, I, I just can't quite see them as clear, mm. right? And see, this is what Jesus yes. wants. He wants from us. He yes. wants that perception to be right. He wants us to see things as clear as they really are. So the man says, I don't, I don't see them as clear. Amen. Because right now they look like, amen. So wow. Jesus, now he's going to clear his perception up even more. Let's go a little bit further, my brothers. Wow. The Bible says in verse 25, he said, after that, he said, put his hands again, amen, a touch from Jesus upon his eyes and made him look up. The Bible said he was restored and, and saw every man what? Clearly. Clear. Amen. We can really, Ooh, brother, we can really glory. we can really understand some things when we see them clearly. Amen. Yes. I can perceive now so yes, I can. Yes. Amen. I, now let's go a little bit further, brother. So okay. before, before, before the cause of time. The Bible says in verse 26, the Bible says that he sent him away. Listen at this. This is where I wanted to get to, uh, brother Brian. The Bible says he sent him away to his house. And now he sent him back to his house. But watch how Jesus warns this man. Amen. He's already mm -hmm. led him out for a reason, mm -hmm. out, of, out of the town. But look, he sends him back to his house. 
But watch what he says about the town that he led him out of. Watch what he says. Yes, sir. Look, now look at verse 26. The Bible says, Now he sent him away to his house, saying, See, Jesus saying this, Neither go into the town. This, listen to this. He says, Don't go back into the town. Right? He says, Nor tell, tell it to anyone in the town. So Jesus first tells him, Right? He says, Now I, I'm leading you out of your, the environment. Yeah. But now he's, Jesus said, I'm not even ready for you to go back into that mm -hmm. familiarity. Isn't that right? Don't Brian, we got about a minute. I mean, we can go on and on, but you know, we got about a minute before, or uh, two before we go into a song. Now, what you've heard so far, give me a yeah. thought before we go into a song. Yeah, so it's all about, you know, God puts these warnings in to us through yes. his, through his uh, men and women of God. Yes. You know, through his prophets, through his pastors, through right. the uh, apostles, yes. all yes. of them, uh, even our family members. Yes. We, you know, he used a donkey in the Old Testament. Yes. Which gives me hope. Yes. You know, so Come hey, on. if he can use a donkey, he can use me. Can he? Can he but, uh, yes, he but, can. But he's using people to instruct your life to get you in position. Right. And to keep you from falling victim to the enemy's devices. Yes. So, because the enemy wants to kill, steal, and destroy. Yes. All right. So he wants to give you. Uh, mm. counterfeit information. Yes. He wants to give you a counterfeit life. Come on, good God. Yes. Woo! The enemy wants to come in and counterfeit uh, everything that God calls to be pure. Yes. So if he can uh, if he can get you counterfeited and get you listening to that environment yes. and not seeing clearly, yes. then he can uh, destruct your life. That's he can destroy right. your li right. life. That's right. And um Yes. But yeah, so we got to focus on the warnings yes. and, 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 and moving to the right way. That's right. That's the key, my brothers and sisters. Hey, look, we're going to say this is all good to a song. Warn those that you love. Mm. Amen. Hey, look, we're going to mm. go to a song. Amen. Amen. And then we're going to go. We're going to hear how Moses begins to warn Pharaoh after this song. Enjoy this song. Amen. We're thankful to have Calvin Noel with us this morning to lead worship with us. Let's enter our hearts today as we continue to sing. Draw me close to you. Never let me go. I lay it all down again. Hear you say that I'm your friend. You are my desire. Oh, yeah. No one else will do. Cause nothing else can take your place. To feel the warmth of your breath. Help me find a way and bring me back to you. Oh, yeah. You're all I want. You're all I've ever needed. You're Say, draw me close to you. Draw me close to you. Never let me go. Never let me go. I lay it all down. I lay it all down again. To hear you say that I'm your friend. To hear you say that I'm You are my desire, and no one else will do. No one else will do. Cause nothing else can take your place. Cause nothing else can take your place. To feel the warmth of your embrace. To feel the warmth of your embrace. So God help me find a way. Help me find. Bring me back, to bring me back to you. Come on and lift your voice again. Tell the Lord, say you're all, you're all I want. God, you're all we need and you're all I've ever needed. Say, Lord, you're all I want. Song, 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 sing, you're all I want. 
Brother, brother. Bryant, we're going to turn it over to you that you may share what God's given you concerning this topic. Yeah, so great topic and a great word from Brother Rodney yes. just now uh, about seeing clearly. And I want to talk uh, about Pharaoh and Moses yes. and the warnings. Uh, and these scriptures come from Exodus chapter 4 yes. through chapter about 7. So if you yes. want to read through from chapter 4 yes. to 7 uh, later, we're just, I'm going to just highlight point it. out some highlights here. Right. And uh, so, you know, you know the story of uh, Moses gets called to go and deliver the people of Israel yes. uh, from Pharaoh and yes. Egypt from slavery, from yes. uh, building bricks and just, right. you know, working and working for Egypt. Well, you know, it was God's will that the Israelites be free. Yes. That they, he was going to set them up as, as his own right. nation, That's his right. own people, right? So talking about warning mm. so moses gets called and thank god he answered the call we've yes, discussed that before the call. that's right and he goes in and starts talking to pharaoh in chapter five he starts mm. talking to pharaoh and saying hey this is what's gonna happen right okay i'm telling wow. you what the word of god says that's he, right he had gotten a word from God. Yes. So when we get a word from God, we got to hold on to it. Hold it's good to, to write it. those words down. Yes. Write them down so you don't forget them because yes. there's things that God will give you that's going to happen in a week. Some things will happen in a year. Yes. So it's good when that's you right. get something in your that's spirit, right. when something really wow. pops out to you, uh, you know, like this deal with Moses, yes. I'm going to go set a people free. You need to know you heard from God. Yes. You're getting ready to go stand against the king of mm. Egypt. So, okay, so you know you, you need to be standing on the Word of God. You can't That's be right. standing on your own thoughts and feelings. That's right. Right? Come you got to go with some boldness, That's the right. Word of God, That's the anointing, right. to stand right. in front of the king of yes. Egypt. Yes. Okay, so Moses goes in and starts talking mm. to Pharaoh and giving him warning. Yes. Let my people, people go. go. Come on. Okay, and at this time, Pharaoh it says in Exodus chapter 5, Yes. I don't know this God. Right. I don't know this God. Wow. So mm -hmm. um, rather than, you know, heed or listen, we know what happens through the ten plagues, yes. right? Yes. So Pharaoh ends up not heeding to Moses. That's right. Right? So it mm -hmm. would have been God's will for this, for the warning yes. to be taken right. the first time. The first time. That's right. Let wow. my people go. At least these things right. fall upon it. Right. You know, these things are going right. to take place. Well, Pharaoh didn't listen. Didn't, right. didn't listen to the warning. All right, so then mm. here come the bloody water. Wow. The frogs, the frogs, lice, the lice, flies. flies. Uh, that's the first four. Yes. And look, that, that was starting to attack their lifestyles. It became an inconvenience in their life. A lot of times God will give us a warning. Mm. Yes. And then the things that, if we don't heed to that warning, right. we don't heed to the warning, oh my things start to come in and be inconvenient. Yes. All right. So he's steady warning you because he's a merciful, graceful God. Yes. He's got grace and mercy. That's right. But he's trying to yes. get you mm -hmm. back into, it's That's like right. it's like uh, sheep. Right. You got to herd them into the right field That's or right. pasture That's or water. Right. Mm -hmm. you, and you got to nudge them. Right. So those first about four plagues, plagues. were trying yes. to nudge Pharaoh. Hey, man, I'm the Lord God Almighty. Yes. You, this is my spokesman, Moses and Aaron. That's right. Heed to what they're telling you. At least these things are coming upon your, uh, upon your nation. That's right. So the decisions mm. and the lack of listening, mm. uh, the rebellion, rebellion, the rebellion That's against it. the warning That's right. that uh, uh, Pharaoh was doing. Right led to these issues. So by us not heeding to the warnings, yes. it not only affects us, right. it affects our families, that's right. our that's communities, yes. and our nations. And our nation, that's right. Mm. So God's intent mm -hmm. is to give us these warnings right. so that he can save a nation. That's right. You don't just save a nation. You start with the, your, your, your family. That's right. Then a community. That's right. Then it grows. That's right. It grows. Right. Yes. So everybody wants to think of these macro scale items. Right. When we need to be looking at home. home. If we'll take oh, care of home. Oh my goodness. And we'll good God Almighty. Look, yeah. if yeah. God yes. when he he's gonna warn us because he loves us. Right. He's gonna give us warning uh, right. because he loves us. Because so because he loves us. Because he loves us, he's mm. gonna warn us. And he's gonna give us an opportunity to yes, turn. Sir. All right. So Pharaoh, you know, wasn't heeding. 
All right, so we went through all the way to the flies. Then all of a sudden, we get the livestock, the boils, the hails, yes. the hail, the mm. locusts, and the right. darkness. Yes. So all of this starts to come in and affect the economy. That's exactly now it's right. destroying the crops. It's, that's right. The cattle. That's right. Everything. So, you know, we talked about lifestyle and inconvenience in the right. beginning. Right. Well, we could have ended it there and, mm. um, you know, just had some discomfort, right. a little bit of inconvenience, right. and got back on track. Right. So God was trying to get us in the right, right field that's and get us right. back that's on good. track. That's good. Well, Pharaoh continued not to listen. Not he continued listen. not to heed the warnings right. yes, that sir. God was sending. That's right. So then his bad decisions, his mm. rebellion, not mm. listening to the warnings, led to economy right. and issues affecting their income. That's right. So a lot of times people don't realize, look, a lot of times people want to blame God. That's like, right. You, you know, know, why is all this happening, God? Well, right. sometimes yes. because we didn't heed the warning. That's right. So yes. what if, you know, a lot of people are sort of like Pharaoh. Well, Lord, why is all this destruction coming? Right. Why right. is all, why are all these things happening? Yeah. Why is my lifestyle being inconvenienced? Right. Right. You know, why is my income? Why right. is the economy being affected? That's right. You know, why is my, you know, my, my bills wow. higher than my income? Mm. You know, so it's because there was warnings. That's right. You know, a year ago, five years ago, ten years ago, right. we might That's not we might not have listened. Back here, a warning. It, it was a mm. warning back here. Right. So next, it goes. In, all right. So ultimately, what we what we know is Pharaoh ended up losing the firstborn of the nation. Right. That's right. Okay. So drawing down on to, on Pharaoh, all right. Mm. He Went through all these nine plagues. Yes. Still wouldn't repent. Still wouldn't. Still wouldn't, wouldn't repent. repent. Wouldn't right. listen to the warning. Now all of a sudden, God has to step in and take the firstborn of the nation. That's right. Of That's everyone. Right. Everyone. So not just Pharaoh. So listen, your decisions mm. are not only affecting you. That's right. They're affecting your family, family your community, and, and your nation. Abroad. That's right. Okay. Wow. It's bigger. Big. So your decisions when you when you're deciding whether to. Heed that warning or not, mm -hmm. if uh, whether to be obedient or to rebel. Yes. Think about the people that it might affect. Right. You know, there, there's there's cause and effect. Right. You make choices, you're obedient right. or you rebel, and then there's there's going to be an effect. It's going to so be anyway, an effect. So ultimately, the, the final plague was the death of the firstborn. That's right. Every person in Egypt lost their firstborn. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. And. Uh, my one, one of my notes on that. That's their future and right. their legacy. That's right. So the first couple were lifestyles and inconvenience. Yes. Then it was economy and income. Yes. Then it was the future and the legacy. Future and legacy. And that's so right. So then it was the first. But it didn't have to come to that, brother Rodney. It didn't Rodney. have to come to it. It didn't have to came. come to that. So mm -hmm. it, let me let me tie this into like yeah. real life. Right. You know, you could be uh, in prison. Right. You could be in. You know, in jail, right. you could uh, have lost. You know, be on the brink of losing your marriage. Right. You could be on the uh, brink of uh, addiction. You know, uh, there's a lot of things you could be on the brink of, and God's trying to warn you today. God is trying to warn not to make those That's bad right. decisions. That's right. He's trying to warn you mm. not to go down that lifestyle That's of crime. Right. That's right. Not to go down that lifestyle mm. of uh, fulfilling the lust of the flesh. That's right. Right? Because that leads to destruction. That's right. All those things All lead to destruction. That's right. Satan's not going to let you know that. No. Satan's going to paint it out to be no. pretty. That's right. He's going to paint it out to be nice. All his counterfeits right. are just that. Right. Counterfeit and uh, sin will always overpromise and oh, underdeliver under and take That's you right. further than you ever wanted That's to go. That's right. That's right. You know, so I, I'm just here to tell you, just like with Pharaoh, yes. just like with Pharaoh, it went further then he wanted to oh, go. Oh, Believe me. Cost him, cost him dearly. It cost him. It oh. cost him in his mm. whole nation, convenience, oh. income, economy, yes. future, the legacy, yes. the firstborn. Yes. I mean, it didn't have to come to this. No, it didn't. That's the key, isn't it? And that's, and that's what God's key. doing. Oh, that's the key. He, he yeah. might have give you, look, you might be mm. on your fifth warning. Come you on. might be on your fifth warning. Look, don't let it get to the point where that's you're right. having life-changing, detrimental right. That's right. things to, to to actually turn back to God. That's right. The beautiful thing about God is That's He's right. waiting right now. Right. Woo, glory to God. Look, He's waiting right now for you to turn. 
waiting for you to turn to him. Mm -hmm. He's there with open arms yes. waiting on you. Waiting. I don't care what you've done. I don't yes. care where Come you on. are. Yes. I don't care. You, you could be in the middle of something yes. right now. Yes. God is yes. calling to you, calling. son. He's calling to you, daughter, yes. to call upon his name. To call upon him. Yes. He's waiting for you and he wants to revive you. He wants to bring you out. Yes. And he wants to set you on that mountain. Yes. Right? And yes. put you in places of, of inheritance because you are king's kids. Yes. You are uh, an heir just like Christ. Yes. You are an heir to Christ. You are an heir to that throne. Yes. So, you know, but that comes through obedience. Yes. It doesn't come through rebellion. Yes. And, um, you know, we just we, we don't want to be like Pharaoh. Right. We want to be like Moses. We yes. want to be obedient. Yes. Obedience sets nations yes. free. That's right. Obedience sets families, communities, and nations yes. free. Yes. Rebellion yes. will destroy them. Will destroy them. Oh my goodness, brothers and sisters, I tell you what, I I'm 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 blessed. Amen. That word blessed me. Amen. Look at Pharaoh did not heed the warning, and it cost him more. Amen. That he was willing to pay, but it cost him. He had to pay the. He had to pay the cost. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, we're at the close of our program, right? Brian, thank you. Yes, Amen. sir. Thank you, man. I tell yes, you, sir. What, I tell you, that word just resonated in my spirit. My brothers and sisters, God doesn't want to see any of us lost. God loved us so much, brother Brian. The Bible said God so loved the world. Yes. Amen. This isn't a hate message. Amen. This is a deliverance message. So loved, loved the world he, that he gave his only begotten son, oh, son. That whosoever believed in him, listen, would not perish. Amen. So the plan for the day, my brothers and sisters, in the time that we live under grace, the Apostle Paul, Barnabas, Timothy, Titus, they carried this message. Amen. If you would confess with your mouth, Amen. Amen. Romans 10 and 9, right? Amen. Amen. Listen, Jesus says, I've done the work. I've gone to the cross. Yes. He said, now, if you would confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Amen. They're saying, Jesus, I'm making you my Lord. I, I've messed up people's life. Amen. Mm -hmm. I've done things that I'm not pleased with. But now I'm ready to turn and live a life. Amen. It benefits God, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus. So he said, you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in your heart. Amen. That, 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 that Christ, amen, rose from the dead. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Apostle Amen. Paul said, The same shall Amen. be saved. He said, Now, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness. And he said, Now, with it. the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And we say this every week. Once you've made that confession, just go and tell somebody. And then pray to God because he wants to lead you into a church that's right to divide in the word of truth, my brother. So, look, we're out of time, my brother. So I'm excited. Look, here. Thank you, Brian. Yes, sir. We'll see you next week on Walking in Victory. God bless you. See you. The following